Hello and welcome to the video. Now in this video I wanted to show you how easy it is to create a box shot using click designs. Now I use click designs every single day in my marketing business. Now it doesn't just create uh, box shots, it creates a multitude of marketing graphics. But today I wanted to concentrate on box shots and how easy they were to create. Now I still have a 50% coupon for click designs. If you check out the description below, it will take you across to my bonus page where you can see my bonuses and use that 50% coupon. Now, I also have a coupon for every single step in the funnel. So make sure that you check that out because it's very limited and it could be removed at any time. So let's take a look at box shots. Now, as I said, I use Click Designs to create my marketing graphics every single day. My, myself and my team use this to create uh, device shots, bundles, box shots, logos, and many, many other different types of marketing graphics. I wanted to show you how quickly and easily you can create box shots. Now, if you come into Click Designs, come to Dashboard and then Templates, let's scroll down here and you can see how many box shot templates there is. Now, as you can see, there's quite a lot. Lots and lots of box uh, box shot templates to use, as you can see, it goes on forever, and it's constantly being updated. So um, let's just use one of these, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to edit and make that box shot your own. Um, <clears throat> so uh, let's let's use this one here. You can preview the box shot just by clicking on it, and you can see how the box shot looks. And if we want to use that template, just click Use Template. I'm just going to call this video uh, Offer. We're just making up an offer to kind of create a box shot for. So once you've opened the box shot, you can const uh, you can do a full edit on the front and the side covers. So if you click on the front end cover, just click here, then click Edit, and it opens that front end cover. As you can see here, it's all ready to kind of start editing. So let's um, let's first look at the background. So if we want to edit the background, you can see if we click on the background, see background, you see the background color. Now if we want to change the color, let's say we want to change it to this ready color. Just click there, we can change that. So when that's changed, we just click on these here. If we want to change those, we can change them, we can edit them, we can remove them. If we want to change those, let's say we want to change them to a white color, we can do. And as you're editing these box shots as well, if you want to kind of see how they look, you can look um, see that through preview. But I like to save and exit because I like to keep saving the box shot as I'm going. So let's go back again. So we'll get rid of this graphic on the front here. So just click on the graphic. What we'll do is we'll click delete. Now, let's think of a title for this box shot. Uh, so let's call it, um, uh, let's call it, in fact, we'll get rid of this and we'll create a completely new title. So what we'll do is we'll add some text in here. So we'll add a new text layer and we'll add this to the top. So what we will do is we'll call this um, video creation. So we'll call this video creation software. So we can change the color. So let's change this to white as well. Change the font. So um, that looks okay. So we'll make this a little bit bigger. Add some more text on there. Let me just call that software, video creation software. So again, we'll change this to white, we'll change the font family, change it to a different font though. Again, we'll make it a little bit bigger. And also when you move it around as well, you can see if the text is actually aligned in the center. So if you see there, you can see that green line comes on, so it means it's aligned in the center. So again, there, so you can see that's perfectly aligned. Just click save and exit again so you can see how the box shot's coming together so again let's go back to edit so we need a little uh, nice graphic in here and the great thing about 
Click Designs, it has tons and tons of gr different graphics to use. So um, you've got uh, icons here that you can use, but let's have a look at elements. So if we wanted to scroll down, you can see there's lots and lots of different elements that you can do. And if you want to just, for example, um, let's say banners, if you click on banners, you can see there's lots and lots of different banners to utilize. So what's something like this video marketing related? Um, Look down here. In fact, it'll probably be under digital marketing. So go back to digital marketing. Or we could use internet and technology. Um, let's look at this one. Got multiple images in here as well. Okay, so let's click edit again. So then we need something here in the middle. So let's put something in there. Video creation software. So we'll just put a little bit of text in here that says um, the easiest software to create and edit videos. So we'll send to that. change the color to a different uh, color than white we'll do that to yellow make it bold make it a little bit bigger so we'll just do a little bit of something here so let's have a look so if we've got any illustrations that we could add as you can see lots of illustrations to add as well so uh, Communication. Okay, let's go down here. Digital market, and there should be something nice in here for video related. Um, something simple like that. Could add some more text on there as well if we wanted to do but to edit the side just click on the side just click edit we obviously need to change the background color so what we'll do is just as you saw there it automatically picked up what the front end color was so you didn't have to go back and search so it's automatically picked up so let's get rid of this middle section here so what we can do is we'll put some text down the side so a new text layer we'll call this video creation creation uh, software and then we need to flip that round so it goes runs down the side of the box shot so we'll flip that round make it white again and uh, we'll change the font make that a little bit bigger And, exit. and what we need here is a little barcode, just makes it look a little bit more like a box shot. So, what we'll do is we'll come back to elements, come down to barcodes. There we go. Got the different types of barcodes. I'll add this one in. And add that to the bottom. And that's how quick it is to make a box shot, <laughs> as you can see. And you could play around with that, make. Um, you know make it a little bit different you could have some branding on there if you're doing that for a bonus you know for a product you could put you know bonus for whatever product you're promoting so as you can see it, it's really really easy to create the box shop now if you want to export it just come here to export you can export it as a ping a jpeg webb and pdf 
you can watermark it if you want you can add a shadow onto it a reflection if you want so if you put a shadow on or you can watermark it as well and when you export it you just click export <coughs> and it'll download and that's your box shot created okay so easy to create and edit box shots and once you've done just hit save once that saves it will automatically add it into your library into your design so you can go back in and change it around if you wish so I'll show you how quickly you can do that so click exit and if I come to my designs you can see there my designs this is a box shot once I've created that box shot there's a couple of things I can do with it I can save it to my drive I can share it I can send it so if you're doing work for clients you can automatically send that as well you can add it into your drive inside click designs I'll speak about that in a later video you can automatically duplicate it preview it and you can also share it in real time so if you share that in real time so if you click real time you can see this ping here so what happens is if you use this URL any edits that you make to that graphic will be changed to that graphic in real time so you don't have to re-upload the graphic or anything like that it'll automatically change anything you change on that box shot or that logo or that marketing graphic in real time if you use the real-time image hosting inside click designs so remember I've still got that 40% code now I've got the uh, sorry 50% code I've also got a code for every step of the funnel so make sure that you check out my bonus and my bonus page below so thanks for watching watch out for the next video